Two months ago, I posted a video illustrating the technical challenges involved with removing the light adjustable lens, also known as the LAL. Some patients will travel to see us because they're unhappy with the range of vision or the quality of vision that they're seeing through their light adjustable lens. After posting that video, one of the leaders from a surgical instrument company that we work with, Epsilon Eye, reached out to me and suggested that I try using an instrument that they recommend that will help make removing the light adjustable lens easier, more efficient, and safer. So I said, yeah, go ahead, send it to me and we'll take a look at it. Well, here it is, and I'll show it to you. When I squeeze the handle of the forceps, the jaws or the tip of the forceps are oriented 90 degrees away or perpendicular to the squeezing motion that I apply to the handle. This is in contrast to the MST forceps handle, which when squeezed is in line with the jaws or tip of the forceps. I think this design could be improved for the Nabil forceps if the squeeze was in line or parallel to the opening and closing of the jaws of this instrument. I find the design of the MST 23 gauge forceps to be more intuitive. Well, here they are. These are the Nabil 19 gauge forceps sold by Epsilon I. Oh, by the way, like all videos, there's no financial interest in any of the products discussed in this video. I use the light adjustable lens. I use instruments that we'll be discussing and I pay full price for everything I get. I only receive compensation from patients who come see me for their eye care or their eye surgery. So anyway, on July 2nd, 2025, I had a patient who received the light adjustable lens in Orlando, Florida from another surgeon, and they were unhappy with their quality and range of vision with the light adjustable lens. Specifically, they saw starbursts around lights at night, and although the patient could see quite well far away, they felt that their intermediate and near vision was not acceptable. So after a long discussion, talking about all the options, we could leave him alone, we could wear glasses, he could go back to his original surgeon and consider working through the process with their original surgeon. He decided to stay with me and have intraocular lens exchange where we would remove his light adjustable lens and replace it with the Envy multifocal lens. So in this video, I wanna show you how we use the Nabil forceps to safely and efficiently remove a locked in light adjustable lens and replace it with an Envy multifocal lens. So let's go to the surgical video. This is surgical video from July 2nd, 2025. We see our patient's light adjustable lens inside the capsular bag, which is intact and clear. 1% lidocaine followed by viscoelastic is placed into the anterior chamber of the eye. A Donenfeld spatula is used to elevate the anterior capsule from the lens optic. Helon GV is then used to visco dissect and expand the capsular bag surrounding the lens implant. A generous amount of viscoelastic is used to liberate the lens optic and haptics inside the capsular bag. A Connor wand is then used to lift the lens at the haptic optic junction. The lens optic and haptics are then elevated and dialed out from inside the capsular bag into the space anterior to the anterior capsular opening. The lens is then rotated into a position that allows me to grasp the optic through a secondary incision placed at eight o'clock and to cut the lens optic through the primary incision at six o'clock. Now, let's take a look at the Nibial 19 gauge forceps through our microscope. You can see the part number P1151-1 19 gauge SS. It is made of stainless steel and is sold in one piece. Let's compare the Nabil 19 gauge forceps with the microsurgical technology 23 gauge micro holding curved forceps side by side. You can see the tips and jaws of the Nabil are much larger in length than the MST forceps. According to Epsilon, the MST forceps open to 
between 1.2 and 1.4 millimeters in width, and the nabil forceps open to 1.8 to 2.0 millimeters when the jaws are open. The larger opening of the nabil forceps should allow us to grab the middle of the light adjustable lens optic, which tends to be much thicker than other intraocular lens optics. We have found that the MST 23 gauge forceps can grab the edge and middle of almost every other IOL type except the LAL. The MST 23 gauge forceps can be inserted through a one millimeter secondary incision. Since the nabil forceps are larger, we need to widen our secondary incision to two millimeters in width. You can clearly see that the shaft of the Nabil 19 gauge forceps is wider than the shaft of the MST 23 gauge forceps. Since this video is my first use of the Nabil forceps, I test the opening and closing of the forceps before placing the instrument into the eye. The Nabil forceps pass through our two millimeter secondary incision with ease. Because the tip of the Nabil forceps is longer than the 23 gauge MST forceps, we need about five millimeters of space to allow the jaws to be fully inside the eye and to allow for maximal expansion of the jaws of the forceps. We have to nudge the lens optic laterally to facilitate purchase of the LAL edge. Once we have purchased the IOL optic, we can pull the optic more centrally after the jaws have been closed. MST 19 gauge Packard Chang IOL cutters are then introduced through our primary incision to cut the LAL optic. When we try to cut the LAL optic through the middle in a straight line, the LA optic fracture line bends left. So we overcompensate and angle the IOL cutters to make the cut as central as possible and do not follow the fracture line that the LAL wants to give us. We grab the smaller half of the bisected LAL with the Nabil forceps and remove it through our 2.8 millimeter incision with ease. The second half of the LAL is slightly wider than the first half that was removed. If the LAL optic diameter is six millimeters, the first half of our optic is about 2.8 millimeters wide and the second half is about 3.2 millimeters wide. So when we try to remove the second 3.2 millimeter wide half through our 2.8 millimeter incision, the optic crumbles and breaks. Go! Additional viscoelastic is placed into the anterior chamber. The nabil forceps are then used to grasp the lens optic in the middle of the lens optic where it is thickest. The nabil forceps grab this LAL optic with ease in a way that would not be possible with the 23 gauge MST forceps due to their narrower jaw opening. We can then use our Iowa cutters to cut through this 3.2 millimeter wide segment into narrower strips that can then be removed with ease again with the wider grip of the Nabil forceps. The NV multifocal lens is then delivered into the capsular bag. Viscoelastic is removed from in front of and behind the IOL optic. Our incisions are confirmed to be self-sealing and surgery is concluded successfully and efficiently with our Nabil 19 gauge forceps and MST 19 gauge IOL Packer Chang cutters. So in conclusion, these 19 gauge Nabil forceps definitely help in removal of the light adjustable lens, which has a thicker optic. They make removing the light adjustable lens more time efficient for both the surgeon and the patient. And I think they make the surgery safer for everybody involved. But there are three aspects that make this instrument more challenging to use than the 23 gauge MST micro holding forceps. Number one, this instrument requires a two millimeter secondary incision to allow entry into the eye. The 23 gauge micro holding forceps can be placed through a one millimeter secondary incision. Number two, I, I wish the company would make the blades of the instrument close and open in parallel rather than being in perpendicular like they are now. The 
23 gauge MST micro holding forceps are parallel in action, which seems more intuitive. And lastly, the shaft of this instrument is straight, and I actually prefer the curved shaft of the 23 gauge micro holding forceps made by microsurgical technology. In summary, these forceps are excellent and very helpful for LAL explants. I prefer the MST 23 gauge micro holding forceps for explantation of all other IOLs, but for the LAL, which has a thicker optic, the Nabil 19 gauge forceps definitely work better and are more efficient and safe for both the doctor and the patient. As always, thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.